So guess what? I'm going to make sure you're going to save some money because I don't want you to pay for call-out title packs that some YouTubers make. Let me show you how to do it for free in DaVinci Resolve. And we've got a clip over here now. Let's play it in full screen. Oh, look at that. Hmm, that smells amazing. Hmm, so gorgeous. Okay, so uh, we need a call out for this because I want everybody to know that this smells awesome. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is go to titles. And then if we go to titles and we scroll down, we see a call out title. And we're going to drag it on top of our clip, extend it. There you go. Because I want it to play out throughout the entirety of the clip. But you see, it's in the wrong position. Why, oh why, oh why. So let's change that. And we can do so by going to settings and then change the position. It's as easy as that. And I think I'm going towards there. Because this is where it needs to be. So let's change the words. So, so delicious. There you go. And I want to change the color of this as well. And you can do so by scrolling down and you see a line. And if you click it, you have the ability to change it in any color that you like. So let's go again. Let's go hashtag 39 FFFF because that's my color. Let's click OK. There you go. And now it's nice and blue. And we've got the text so delicious. But if I play it, uh-oh, it's not tracking it. And I want this to be professional, so I'm going to show you how to track this as well. First things first, let's go and hit the right mouse button. Let's change this into a new compound clip. Let's call this clip the call out title. Hit create, and now we've got two clips. Select both of them, hit the right mouse button, and go to new fusion clip. Uh-oh, we've only got one, but if we go to the fusion tab, boom, we've got two inputs right here so let's figure out what is what so if we click this one that will show on the left screen so right mouse button let's go to rename and let's rename this the video track and let's do the same thing okay let's do the same thing for the second one rename and we're going to rename this the title that way i don't get confused because sometimes i forget stuff Okay, if you want to see the title, just the title, click this one and it will show the title on the left screen. And we've got the media out, so our final rendered clip on the right. <sighs> Let me breathe for a minute. Let's go to video track, move it to the left. There you go. But I want something in between because I want to track this bottle. So hit it and then shift spacebar and then find the tracker. Tracker, let's add it. There you go. So now we've got a tracker node in between the video track clip and the merge node in which the title goes. So let's select the tracker and we want the tracker to be on a very contrasty spot. So in this case, the white of this bottle. And we're going back to the first frame. So let's, there you go. I still want it to be on the white. And now let's click this one, track forward. And it's tracking the bottle nicely. Well done. There you go. We're still waiting because this clip is way too long. Eight seconds to be precise. Right. So it's done. It's rendered it. Let's click OK. But there's one more thing we need to change in the tracker node. So let's go to operation and let's change the operation from none to match move. That will basically uh, make a merge node out of this. So let's grab the title, let's put it in the merge node and let's see what happens. So if we play this clip from the start, we see that here you go, there you go. It's tracking the bottle. Look at that. Look at that. Cook, cook. Awesome. So if you don't like where this is right now, all you got to do is click the title, then add a transform node and that will allow you to change where this is. So I'm going to grab this, going to place it there. And if all goes well, if we go back and we play the clip, you now see that this is where the tracker is right now, or the text or the call out title or whatever you want to call it. So let's go back to the edit tab. Let's select the right mouse button. Let's click render cache color output. Let it render for a little bit. Come back to DaVinci and let me show you how that looks. There you go. So delicious. Mm. Sniff, sniff. 
There you go. And that's all you got to do. So here's a quick call-out title for free in DaVinci Resolve 17. You can customize it by the way I showed you in a minute. I hope you all like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button down there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!